all right guys so today we're going to be building an investment website uh, a crypto investment website with a uh, wallet connect system so this is what we're going to be building is a crypto investment uh, website with wallet connect system so click on access wallet so once you click on access wallet enter your id enter your enter your password so you click on sign in and it's gonna ask you for passcode and the passcode is gonna be sent to your email so the passcode is gonna be sent to your email address and you use the passcode to log in or you be, you quit the passcode if you are creating the user's account or if you are creating an account as a user you create the passcode now this is how the user side is so to connect to your defi wallet you can enter your fees to three four five just like that you click on enter you can enter everything just like this and then the admin of the website can then you can just click on connect wallet and if it's actually right the admin will approve it if it's not right the admin will disprove it that's talking about an admin right now so this is how the website look right so here you got the swap system you can swap coins you can do swapping all these are uh, all time life and everything actually like this is payment method this is bots if you want to trade with bots so this is card if you want credit card you can activate credit card uh, this is managed crypto so the crypto option you have available this is crypto address if you want to add your address to it so all right so this is just like an investment website and the only thing here is that this bot this is what people subscribe to the bot just like you have plans on an investment website so say let me subscribe to this bot and then pick my price select bot so let's see um do you see let's say 12 hours let's see five thousand so this is my wallet pass so i could do start bot okay it must be in between start bot now between 200 okay okay i didn't see that so let's do 500 so start bot fit subscribe okay okay we've not set this from the admin yes we have not set it from the admin all right let's go to the admin now this is the setting part as well excuse me manage crypto referral account verification pass or logout so we're going to click on logout i've logged out of the account so i want to go to the admin so let me click on this and copy the admin password and copy this i'm going to put it here and pass one two three four five six i'm gonna click on sign in now just the same way you enter user's account that's the same way you enter the admin account it automatically pick it to the admin it recognizes the admin as you can see so you have your users this is the users have the kyc verification if you want to turn it on so you have the bots this is the bots you create that people back purchase for, for different plans you see this is the, the only bot that's supposed to be available we didn't use this we use this all right you see subscriptions there's subscription here if you want to subscribe to a, plan, a bot plan there's trade um there's transaction transaction there's wallet settings all right so this is on wallet setting okay so general settings name of your website and this is the general setting right so email <coughs> so now that wallet address is sent to you if your SNTP is actually correct is going to be sent to your email you understand 
so you can use it to assess the user's um, trust wallet or whatever wallet you want to do right okay so let me log out of this place and show you guys how this is done <coughs> right so i'm going to come to a new tab okay so let me wipe off everything i had before now this is the file manager cpanel file manager and this is the file but i'm going to wipe off everything so that we can start from scratch right so if you're joining this part you should already have an idea of how to purchase a domain name and a hosting understand before you can come and watch this part all right so you can go to public on the square html after um, purchase your domain name and your hosting so let me clear this i don't know why it's done later. okay it's actually deleting just taking a bit of time all right so why this is loading it's actually deleting let me refresh this all right everything is okay so you click on upload and once you click on upload you click on select file so um what's the file's name d e okay death bit and click on open as you click on open it will upload the file so you give the file some time to upload now depending on the server you're using the file can either be very fast or slow your server is actually part of it and the network connection so i like to upload Alright, it has actually been uploaded. You click on go back. Now you're going to extract it. Now, why this is extracting? Let me go back. Let's go to our C panel. Now, on our C panel, we're going to search for database wizard. So, you click on database wizard, open it in a new tab. Now call your database what you want to call this anything and like V3 is what I'm calling it. Click on next step. So I'm going to call this V3 again. And I'm going to use this as a password because it will be easier for me to just paste on everybody. Click on create user. Now once you're done creating user, what you do next is to click on all privilege. And make changes. Remember, we we'll copy the username and password since we use one. So, call, click on close here. Come back. This is the EMV. If I click on it and edit it. At the same time, come to the db.sql, download it. Now, once you download it, come to this db. Look for where there is db database. So, you're going to paste this here paste it here that's the username and the database username database password as it already we created before remember this is it this is username this is the um database so the username database and the password right now once you don't come here and replace here with your domain name so let me for my domain name copy link address and come back here and paste it just like this all right so once you're done you click on save changes save. now the last thing is this come back to your cpanel search for php my admin so php 
PHP Miami, how to end the contour. All right, this is the one we created right now. So click on it, V3. Click on import. So click on import, click on choose file. Select file. Select the database SQL you downloaded and upload. Go downward and click on import. Import is actually the upload system. So click on it. And successfully upload that. So if you now visit your site, you can then refresh it and everything is working fine. Alright, so that's cool. So if you want to change someone's password or anything, this is where you do it. User. You click on user. And then you can edit their username, their email, their username, and then their password. Right? So you successfully Build this website right now. This is the file change website, right? So, everything's all right. So, I guess that should be all for this video now. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, like this video. As you can see, the time is actually 4 a.m., and I'm producing this video for you guys. And the best way you can support me is to subscribe to the YouTube channel. So, click on the YouTube channel, click on subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. So, thank you for watching, and bye for now.